Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm here to help you get started with Red Eye Mini, the exciting new portable accessory that turns your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad into a universal remote control. Red Eye Mini's unique design allows you to use the power in your headphone jack to communicate with your home theater equipment using infrared signals. In order to function properly, we need to provide maximum volume to the headphone jack. Let's begin by making sure the iPhone's volume limit is turned off. First, open the Settings application, then select the iPod setting. If the volume limit row reads off, you're all set. Otherwise, tap on this row and drag the volume slider all the way to the right. Next, let's download and install the Red Eye application. You can do this from your computer or right from your iPhone. Now we will plug in the Red Eye Mini and launch the Red Eye application. If your volume isn't turned up all the way, you will see this notice. You can drag the volume slider to the right, or just use the buttons on the side of the phone to raise the volume level. Once you are at maximum volume, tap on the Try Again button. Red Eye Mini appears in your list of rooms alongside any networked Red Eye hardware you may have installed. Now we're ready to start configuring our home theater. The Red Eye app organizes your home theater into devices, commands, and activities. A device is a piece of equipment that you control, such as a TV or stereo. A command is a signal that you send to a device, such as power on or play. Activities offer a powerful, intuitive, and simple way to control many devices at once. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's start by creating a device. First, let's tap on the Setup tab. Select the Red Eye Mini Room. From this Room Setup screen, we can see a list of all devices and activities we have configured to use with our Red Eye Mini. Since we don't have anything yet, let's choose Add New Device. Here's where the internet comes in. An important part of the Red Eye system is an extensive online database of infrared commands that you can download. However, in order to access this database, we need an internet connection. Red Eye Mini can download codes over Wi-Fi or over a cell network. Our first step in adding a device is to identify the manufacturer. I have a Vizio TV, so I'll choose Vizio from the list. Next, we choose the appropriate device type. Finally, give the new device a name so we can identify it. I'll call this one TV. When you hit the Save button, the Red Eye searches through the online database for infrared codes that match the manufacturer and device type you have specified. When you select a row, Red Eye Mini will send out a test signal. You can test each set of codes to see which works with your device. You can also tap on the blue circle next to a row to see all the commands in that set of codes. Once you have found a set of codes that works for your device, make sure the row you want is checked, and then click Save to download the remainder of the codes. What happens if codes for your device are not in the database, or if you need to add or change a command or two? Red Eye Mini has a built-in learning feature that allows you to capture the signal from an existing remote. To teach your Red Eye Mini a new command, first select or create the device that you want to control. Next, tap on the Add New Command row. Tap on the Capture Control Signal button to put your Red Eye Mini into learning mode. Point your old remote toward the Red Eye R logo and press the appropriate button. Once you have captured the signal, you can test it to ensure that it works properly. Since this is the pause command, I will choose that command type from the list. Everything else looks good here, so I'll click Save. With devices and commands in place, we are ready to create some activities. Activities are a central part of what makes Red Eye so powerful, because they group together different devices around the way you actually use them, not just the way you buy them at the store. For example, 
Many home theater systems now include five, six, seven or more devices. You might have a TV, a DVD player, a cable or a satellite box, a surround sound system, a digital video recorder, a game console, and perhaps an HDMI switch. In the past, if you wanted to watch a DVD, you would have to turn on your TV, turn on your DVD player, turn on your sound system, and tune the TV, the sound system, and the HDMI switch to the appropriate inputs. And that's before you even put a disc in the player. With Red Eye Activities, one tap on your iPhone does all this for you. It even gives you a customizable button layout specific to watching a DVD. So you don't have to deal with channel buttons and other things you use only with other activities. Creating an activity is simple. From Room Setup, tap on the Add New Activity row. Choose the activity type. I'll create a Watch DVD activity. Select the devices you use with this activity. In my case, that is the TV and the DVD player. Tap Save. Next, Red Eye will propose a list of actions that you take when you launch and shut down your activity. Typically, these involve turning on or off the power to your devices. You might also need to add an action or two. For example, when I watch a DVD, I need to switch the TV to the HDMI 1 input, so I'll add that now. Once your launch and shutdown actions are in place, tap the Save button to finish creating your activity. Red Eye will put together a button layout for you, which you can then customize. For example, I'll add a subtitle button because I sometimes watch foreign language movies. Tap on the plus icon to add a button. Select the device in the command for the button action. Tap Save. Move the button into position. Red Eye will help you align the button with others on your screen. When a button appears with a red outline, Red Eye is telling you that it could not find an appropriate command for that button. You can choose a command by tapping on the Button Details icon. Here you can customize many different button properties, such as its name and icon, whether it plays back a single command or a macro, whether pressing and holding the button causes it to repeat, and more. Red Eye has many other advanced features, but the most important thing is how simple it makes the basics. I think you'll enjoy being able to flip through DVD chapters with a flick of the wrist, or add macro buttons to jump to your favorite TV channels. Regular software updates delivered free through iTunes and additions to the online code database mean that your Red Eye experience will continue to improve over time. Enjoy.